Hello everyone, my name is Chaz and you're watching my YouTube channel and I'm here to cook some sweet peas from Trader Joe's. They have some English peas that are going for $3.49 in which I wanted to chaz up. So I'm not going to follow the recipe. I'm going to start by boiling the water to steam the peas and I'm going to go ahead and cut my onions while already having my saute pan, frying pan preheated. While that's preheating, I'm cutting down to a nice brunoise size onion. And I'm going to also mash the garlic with this garject garlic press from QVC. Really great. My grandma got it for me. I love it. But also making sure you're cutting your onions down to the appropriate size. We are going to have the same size of onions to your peas. And using simple recipes and ingredients, using olive oil to go ahead and heat our pan up, also using salt and pepper, Trader Joe's everyday seasoning, and also a saltopia infused sea salt. So going ahead and sauteing my onions. I'm also making sure that I'm stirring the peas while they're steaming so we're all getting an even cook. And if you're using this specific product, you will not be able to get it down to a al dente bite for your peas. You're really going to have to cook that down and simmer it down, which I'm going to show you in the method. And I'm going to be cooking. So the seasonings I'm going to be using is about two tablespoons of, sorry, two teaspoons of salt, pepper, everyday seasoning to taste, and also using a dash of the Saltopia infused sea salt. With the everyday seasoning, you kind of have to add more because there is lacking of the flavor in the recent, you know, production of it. So also adding a little sugar to the concoction. And I'm adding about a half of, tea, well, a half a tablespoon of sugar because we wanted to get it sweet. But if you don't want to use sugar, you can also use a maple syrup or agave, depending what you do have. As I'm sauteing that, I'm also getting some fresh water because we're going to need about a cup and a half of fresh water from the water we're going to be using from the peas that are steaming. So while we're getting our onions to a nice translucent and brown color, we're going to then add our peas. And also, I just want to say this is my first time making this video, so I'm making any videos in this capacity. So give me some credit today. Alrighty, so we're going to saute our peas and saute also adding the water in there. And make sure when you're adding the water, you are making sure your pan is at a medium heat so you're not splashing any oil to you. And this is where we're using a olive oil, which can easily sort of mix with water and not splatter all over you and cause injuries. But be very careful when doing this method. So I add the top to the pan to start, you know, steaming and reducing. We're going to have about, I want to say, a good amount, two and a half cups of liquid to reduce. So reducing that to a simmer and I'm going to show you how to make a little gravy with that. You know, I call it pea gravy, but, you know, don't make fun of the name. The taste is amazing. So that's reducing, we're just going to give it a stir every so often and making sure we're flattening the peas so they all cook evenly on the pan. And I'm telling you, this is smelling delicious, even though you cannot smell it through your television, your laptop, or your phone, but this is the way it's supposed to look, the way it's supposed to smell, the way it's supposed to taste. So adding a little bit more of all of the seasons I had, adding a little bit more sugar, adding a little bit more salt, a little more pepper, everyday seasoning, just to give it a little bit more flavor. And you can tell how much flavor you need by the smell of the product. So while it's simmering, we're making sure that it's getting you know more into a reduce. And I'm saying about maybe three fourths of a cup of reduction is what you want, but. It's to your eyes, to your taste, it's to actually how much you really do want water in your peas or you want a dry pea. But before we get there, as you see, we're now reduced. 
Looks delicious, smells delicious. Adding some butter. Now, this is a tablespoon of butter. If you don't want to add any butter, you can add coconut oil or not add anything at all. It really depends on what you are doing for your personal diet. But for this recipe for mine, I'm adding butter. And it's going to make a nice gravy. Putting the top on there and getting those flavors together. And this whole reduction takes about 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. So as it's reduced, you see that it's coming to a nice sauce. You see basically a nice reduction in that. And that's basically what it is, guys. We're going to serve this up. And look at that. It is delicious. Talk about chazzing it up. Trader Joe's with Chaz. Hey there, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment my video. Make sure you let me know what you want to see coming up in this channel. Thank you.